Have you guys ever done something outrageously stupid and illegal? Only to think to yourself later on, wow, can't believe I just did that? Well, I did. It was March 5, 2008, and me and my cousins, Matthew and Patrick, decided that we'll go to Morongo, the casino in Palm Springs. So we did all our planning, just like how much money we're going to bring, who's driving, what excuse we're going to tell our parents, all of that. There was only one problem. I was only 16, and you need to be 18 to gamble. But I had made a fake ID recently, so I said it was worth the risk. So we met at the Buena Park Mall, and we parked two cars, and we got in my car. We turned on the navigation and headed onto the freeway. So we were able to cruise for a little bit, and then boom, traffic. So I moved all the way to the carpool lane, and was able to go a good 30, 40 minutes at a decent speed. And finally, I saw a sign. It said, toll road. And I said to my idiotic cousin, Matthew, why did it say toll road? And he's like, it didn't, it didn't. And I said, it did. He said, nothing, you're fine, you're in the carpool lane, nothing to worry about. So I go, two minutes later, you see those yellow poles, so. I was obviously in the toll road. So I got a ticket for that. So I continued on, exited Cabazon, went around the roundabout, finally got to Morocco's parking lot. And so we went in, went down the elevator, got to the lobby. When the elevator opened, it was as if we were in Vegas. All the slot machines going ding, 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 ding. People smoking, gambling, having a good time. So we go around the entire casino for about 30 minutes, trying to decide what to do. I finally sit down in the blackjack table and cash in a hundred bucks. I play around and we push. So I didn't win, I didn't lose. Then both my cousins sat down and cashed in a hundred bucks as well. We played about five rounds and then security came and they asked to see all our IDs. So both my cousins gave it right away and me, I slowly took out my wallet and gave the ID. They looked at it, they looked at me, they looked at it again, and they said, we'll be right back. So I was just thinking, I'm caught. So the game went on, the dealer told me, sit this one out until they resolve the issue. So I said, okay, meanwhile, my cousins were losing their money. So 10 minutes later, security comes back and says, you're good to go. So I play again, and I would go up about 500 bucks I was acting like a big shot, tipping the dealer and all of that. And then the worst thing ever happened. A dealer changed. Within five minutes, my whole 500 bucks was gone. And I was furious. So I took another 150 out, cashed it. This time, within 15 minutes, that was gone. And both my cousins were already out of money. So I decided, we'll leave. We got in my car, decided to go back to the Park Mall. So as we were going, I see flashing lights. I got pulled over for speeding. And he didn't buy my BS, so he gave me a ticket. So we went back to the Bayern Park Mall, I dropped them, I went back home. And all I could think to myself was, how the hell am I supposed to tell my parents about the two tickets? Let's just say it didn't end well. <laughs>